Hello everybody. Today I will try something new. Uh, in this video I will try to make some hydrogen fuel cell. So what is some hydrogen fuel cell? So hydrogen fuel cell generate electricity when you add some hydrogen and oxygen and you get some electricity and water like byproduct. So we have many types of fuel cells. Uh, the good known fuel cell is some proton exchange membrane fuel cell. But we have also some uh, acid fuel cell, high temperature fuel cell, uh, metal hydrate fuel cell, uh, methanol fuel cell and also some alkaline fuel cell. The alkaline fuel cell was used by NASA in Apollo program. The design of this fuel cell is uh, quite simple. You have two carbon electrodes which was impregnated with some platinum. And the electrolyte was some potassium hydroxide, uh, some concentrated potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. So this fuel cell generates the voltage about 0.9 volts. The hydrogen fuel cell have the voltage uh, around 0.6 to 0.7 volts. But the fuel cells use some really really expensive uh, catalysts like platinum, cobalt and so on. But today I will try to make a fuel cell with no expensive catalysts, uh, with really, really basic stuff to see if I can get some functional uh, fuel cell. So basic what you need to make a fuel cell, you need two stainless steel uh, mesh, some separator which is some normal uh, paper. Uh, this paper will act that uh, the positive and the negative electrode will not stick together. And I will use this. This is some graphitic carbon. So right now at this moment I have some sandwich uh, I have graffiti carbon, foam, on this side some separator, uh, this separator prevents that this uh, electrode will not stick to this electrode and again I have uh, the second graffiti carbon foam. So the stainless steel will act like current collector and the graphitic carbon foam will act like uh, active surface. So in this setup I will not use any uh, hydrogen and oxygen storage tank because I found that uh, the carbon itself is able to store some hydrogen. Uh, especially if you use some um, activated carbon, high surface activated carbon uh, and carbon nanotubes are able to store some hydrogen. So in this case the electrode itself will store some hydrogen. So at this moment is the voltage zero volts because I don't have any oxygen and any hydrogen created. That's why I need to generate hydrogen and oxygen first. That's why I connect this cell to my power supply. So the voltage input right now is 3.2 volts, which is quite good. So basically if you use some catalysts, 
uh, the input voltage will be much much lower I'll try to connect some loud. To see if this cell is working. Okay, right now I will disconnect my power supply and I will see if I can run this uh, motor Yeah So this motor is some um, uh, 300 milliamp uh, motor uh, 3 volts Some basic quite heavy load for this uh, small cell. Okay, that's it. Uh, I will try this again. I will start my power supply. Well, actually, you see a lot of bubbles on each side. Okay, I disconnect the power supply. Wow, really impressive for some homemade hydrogen fuel cell. I will charge this cell one more time. Right now.
Okay. Really awesome. So, a simply made hydrogen fluid cell, uh, which you can make at home really, really easily. Uh, so I will try also uh, upgrade this one uh, to see if I can get better cell like this one so this cell is slightly different like I show you before uh, so this is the voltage right now and the current I go to 10 amps 600 milliamps really really impressive but I want also to see if this one can light some LED Oh, yes. So really, really interesting. So the LED is really, really strong. <laughs> I 
<laughs> really, really, really awesome. Oops. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. And we see us in the next video. Bye.